In today's video, we'll be covering a few reasons why your TRV is no longer working on your radiator. For those who don't know, TRV stands for thermostatic radiator valve. It's all well and good having them installed, but if they stop working, what are you going to do? Today, we're going to solve the issue, so let's get straight in. The first test is very simple. Have you actually opened it all the way to allow a lot of hot water in? For example, this is currently on zero. That means no water will be entering the radiator. Crank it open to five or six, the highest number it can get to. You're now fully open, letting enough water in to heat up the radiator. If still no heat is entering the radiator, it could be due to the pin underneath the head. So let's get onto that in the next step. But also bear in mind, it could be an issue with your radiator itself, the heating system, your boiler, or the lock shield on the opposite end of the radiator. So check out this video up here for why your heating isn't working just in case it is a deeper issue. As mentioned, the next issue could be the pin underneath the TRV head. To get that, there is a hand tight screw underneath the TRV. These can also be painted over by landlords. So you may have to use an adjustable spanner or a pair of grips. Once you've got the TRV head off, set it to a side and your main issue, your culprit is this little pin at the top. Now this pin with a bit of pressure can actually move up and down. However, you may find it in a stuck position where it is all the way down or there is just no movement at all. This will be the issue with your TRV. The classic trick is to give it a good tap on the sides to loosen it up or from the top, give it a good tap as well, or even with a pair of pliers, just try and pull it out. However, pulling it out could cause more issues in the future as it could remove it completely, which means you've completely knackered your TRV. The best way to do it is to tap on the sides of the TRV or onto the gold plate on the top to release that head pin. Once that is out, add the head back on and you're all good to go. Hopefully this will get your radiator nice and warm this winter. If you've received no luck on this test and this pin will not move at all, the easiest solution is just to get a new TRV installed by a local plumber. iHeat now offer that on every install, you can add a TRV to your order. So when you're checking out from iHeat.co.uk, click on the add-on section and you can add a TRV or as many TRVs as you want. My advice is if you are getting a TRV replaced, is to try and get quite a few installed on the same job or maybe if you're getting a radiator done up, add it on whilst you're there. As it's only a quick and simple job, plumbers will probably charge you a call out fee anyway, so you might as well get the most out of your money whilst they're there. But if adding a few TRVs to your order is something of interest, head to iheat.co.uk, fill in a really easy quote and we can be there the very next day to install your brand new boiler. Heck, and a few TRVs whilst we're there. As always, let me know if you have any issues in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. This has been iHeat.